will switch into Raichu, and Raichu will do Dynamic Spark for, and one not to be a bad player, but just to make sure that my math is right. So 360 for the knockout and the win. He's fast. He's strong. And he's handsome. No, I'm not talking about me. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Or if you're new to the channel, I'm Pokedubs. And today we're taking a look at Maridon EX. Maridon EX was one of the most hyped decks to come into the standard format from the Scarlet and Violet block. But does it really live up to our expectations? Today we're going to take a look and see just how fast and strong this deck can really be. So let's jump into the deck profile. Alright guys, so here is Maridon EX. This is the Laffy based build. So here we're running the three Maridon EX. Maridon EX, for those that don't know, has the ever powerful tandem unit ability. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic lightning Pokemon and put them onto your bench and shuffle your deck afterward. Uh, this does stack, so you can get a Maridon and tandem unit for a uh, another Maridon and another Lightning Pokemon, and then you can use Tandem Unit on the next Maridon if you'd like. So, if you can start a Maridon turn one, it's really, really nice to uh, get the board set up really, really well. Um, so, with the Tandem Unit, you're probably going to want to grab uh, a Mareep or two. So, there's nothing crazy going on with a Mareep. Uh, it's it's the evolution that matters into the Flaffy. Here we've got the Dynamotor ability. Once during your turn, you may attach a lightning energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So this is super powerful. And depending on the matchup, um, when you're getting out your Mareep, you're going to want to probably get out of the Manaphy as soon as possible. This protects all of your Pokemon on the bench from taking damage um, from your opponent's Pokemon. So that combo is pretty nice. Um, the Raichu is a really, really good finisher. Raichu is incredibly powerful. Um, so first off, it does have the fast charge attack, which is actually really, really relevant if you end up starting the Raichu, um, even if you go first. Uh, it states for one, one basic lightning energy. If you go first, you can use this attack during your first turn. Search your deck for a lightning energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck, so yes. It does break the rule of not being able to attack if you go first, which is pretty sweet. But I just about skipped over the, the, the main attack here. Dynamic Spark is insanely powerful. It does 60 times. You may discard any amount of lightning energy from your Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage for each card you discarded in this way. The wording here is very important. Lightning energy from your Pokemon, not this Pokemon. So any lightning energy that you have in play, you can discard. Uh, so you can see how the numbers can get really, really big. And you don't need that much um, to hit for some really big numbers. So Raichu is a really, really good finisher. Um, it can come in and take some really, really big one hit KOs. Um, so with you, you've got Flaffy generating energy from the discard pile onto your benched Pokemon. And then you've also got Electric Generator, which says, look at the top five cards of your deck, attach up to two basic lightning energy cards you find there to your benched lightning Pokemon in any way you like. So if you get hit a couple Electric Generators, you're using the Flaffy, you should have no problem getting energy into play. The Magnezone is, is a really, really cool addition. I think it's only necessary to have a 1-1 one, one in here. Um, this comes in really, really handy for like the single prize decks you play against. Um, because it doesn't really hit very well into those. But Magnezone V-Star has the Electro Star V-Star power. This attack does 90 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So that's super good. Assuming they don't have a Manaphy on the bench, you'd want to take care of that first, obviously, because that would stop the bench damage. Um, Magnezone would just do no damage, <laughs> unfortunately. So... Uh, you can you can take advantage of that. A lot of people don't really know exactly what that V-Star does, so they don't really prepare for it. Um, so that's really good. We got the Squawkabilly EX is a basic inclusion in a lot of decks lately. Um, if you struggle to set up and you need to get just to see more cards turn one, the Squawk and Seize ability lets you do that pretty effectively. 
Radiant Greninja is really, really powerful in here to be discarding energies to draw more cards, dig through your deck. Um, we don't care as much about having energy in the discard pile because of the Flaffies. And we do play one Super Rod. Um, just something to consider if you end up having to discard an evolution or something early in the game. You can, you can get that back. Starting the Raikou is usually uh, pretty good. It's, it's effective for the fleet-footed ability. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may draw a card, so that's pretty good. Uh, but the Lightning Rondo attack, which does 20 plus, uh, this attack does 20 more damage for each benched Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. So Raikou's a very effective attacker, um, and also just drawing that card early game can actually be uh, a pretty big game changer. So this build is actually running the two Arvin, which... I didn't really believe was going to be that powerful of a supporter until I played it in this deck. Uh, search your deck for an item card and a Pokemon tool card, because those are both different now in the standard format. Reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck, that kind of thing. Uh, so with that, you could grab an electric generator as an item, and like the Defiance Band or Forest Seal Stone as a tool. So it's pretty good. It's not overly powerful so that's why there's really only two in the deck we've got our pretty basic counts three research three boss and two iono we want a decent amount of switching options because unfortunately with maridon ex it does have a powerful photon blaster attack for 220 damage but during your next turn the pokemon can't attack so we want to find a way to be able to pivot out of that really really quickly and Beach Core also helps with that because Maridon fortunately only has a one energy retreat cost and Beach Court will reduce it to none. So that is really good. Getting Path to the Peak out late game is super, super effective at shutting a lot of decks down. Uh, so we run a pretty good stadium count. Uh, the other two for, for the obvious reasons that they exist, but also we don't want to be shut down with Path to the Peak early in the game either. So... We kind of want to get set up and then find our path to the peak and shut the opponent down as fast as possible. The last Pokemon in here to go over would be the Zapdos, and a lot of people would argue that this might not be worth it. I've actually had the Zapdos come in super, super handy. So Zapdos is in the deck as a support Pokemon. Uh, basically, it's got the lightning symbol ability, your basic lightning Pokemon's attacks, except any Zapdos do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And so it, it might not seem like a big deal, but there are several Pokemon in the format that have a, a very awkward 230 hit points. And with Photon Blaster doing 220, you can see how the, the extra 10 damage would be very helpful. And also when Raikou is attacking with both full benches, that extra 10 damage can come in very, very handy. So I've really liked the Zapdos in here. It's not a huge liability. We've got ways to get out of it if it gets stuck in the active. It's only a single prize support Pokemon, so I'm never really worried about getting it out there and having it just be a dead liability. So overall, the deck has been super fast and super powerful, uh, but enough of me talking about it. Let's jump into some gameplay and see how it goes. Alrighty, we're gonna try to get another one here with Miraidon. See if we can get another uh, clutch finishing sweep by good old Raichu. So they're gonna choose heads on the coin flip. Looks like they are going to get to pick. I've had this happen a lot. A lot of people choosing to have me go first, which is interesting. Just an observation though. So we'll go ahead and start Maridon. Oh no, not United Wings. <laughs> this matchup is criminal. So we're actually going to get the Magnezone here. I probably should go look first, but I'm just benching it anyway. Um, so we do have the Magnezone V-Star in the deck. That's good. Um, let's see. Did we prize a bunch of Mareeps again? Goodness. That's just not fair. Manaphy. I hate to do it. No, I can't even. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. We'll grab, I guess, another Maridon. I don't want to be loading up the bench with a bunch of pokes here, but uh, I guess that's just how we're going to go. 
Let's go into the Raikou. Let's draw a card. This is going to be a very tough matchup, but not, not, not much looking forward to it. I don't think they have any way to hurt the bench or anything. If this is a, this is a tough call. They could probably just knock this thing out, honestly, next turn. Because United Wings can just kind of pop off like that. So if they get the, the turn one knockout here, it's basically game over. <laughs> Uh, as sad as that may seem. So they got one in the discard pile. It's just, uh, it's not a good matchup. These single prize decks, not looking good. So they got the Ditto. I would have thought they would have grabbed a Flamigo there, but uh, must not, must not be running. So we, now we get the Squawk ability. Uh, you're useless. <laughs> Let's go ahead and electric generator. We got three energy off of that? Sheesh, chill out. Go there and go there. Although I should be loading up this Magna Zone. I'm not really sure what what I was doing there. That was kind of silly. Um, We'll attach there. And I either want to chase down the Ditto or this Murkrow. Um, because I've got that energy on that Murkrow, and I kind of just want it gone. I'm not sure if that's the right call. Um, I've played against United Wings only a few times, but I know that that's the, the main attacker. Um, Ditto obviously can kind of do the same thing, but now I'm just forcing them to find another energy, which I'm fairly certain this deck plays energy retrieval options, but uh, might as well make them have it. I figure knocking out a potential attacker is probably better than trying to knock out one of their uh, possible draw options, but I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to go discard some Flamigo. Yeah, that's what I was surprised they didn't get the last time, but uh, they, they're cooking there. One, two, three. Here, I could just go Pokemon. So they've got five. Five United. That's 100 damage. Got the Curlio, they're gonna draw cards. They could get there. They need what, five more Pokemon in there? So there's six. It will truly be devastating if they were able to get all 10 in there that they need. They're getting the Mana Fee, that's probably smart. They see what I'm going for with the Magna Zone. I probably should have tried to take advantage of that earlier, but oops. I don't think I could have got there last turn anyway, so it kind of, it just is what it is. So they, they weren't able to find an energy, which is kind of huge, actually. So we'll take it. We'll uh, draw a card of Fleet Footed. Lost City is kind of, kind of meh. Um, let's grab another Mareep here. And we're just going to start attaching some energies freely um and i think we're just gonna i mean that's really really our only option we'll just lightning round it we're basically putting another pokemon in the discard pile for them which is unfortunate uh we're actually sort of helping them out there but i mean what do you do they're gonna come up with a ditto there's seven pokemon in there so that's not looking good Gonna be able to draw some cards. Um, yeah, I think they're <laughs> I think they're gonna get there. So right now they're hitting for 170. 170 could be scary. Here's the hoping they can't find an energy somehow. But they're gonna have some draw power here. Um, they're gonna be able to refine that away. got eight in there 16 they're hitting for 190 right now just coming up short and i hope it stays that way um because i'm scared so they're not discarding a pokemon there that's actually kind of huge um because they're still only hitting for 190 then and i don't see an energy yet so let's hope the energy is a problem they've got three in the discard pile which is not great um, unless they're playing a rod, in which case 
even if they were, they'd still only have two cards in their hand and they're going to have to be able to shuffle some into the deck somehow. So they're really... Oof. They're really going here. They can't refine men again. So they're going to bring up the mana fee. Which is interesting. I, I would hope that I could get... Oh, what a top deck. Uh, let's go ahead and fleet footed. Make them think we don't have it quick. We've got another energy. That's fine. Do we have energy in the discard? No, we don't. We'll just attach there arbitrarily. And I want that ditto with the belt. Get up here, buddy. We'll go ahead and... Maybe we'll just Lost City it. <laughs> Get out of here, ditto. Go in the Lost Zone pit for eternity. So now, as long as they can't get back-to-back -back knockouts, we should have the prize race lead. But they're gonna... They're gonna have to find some things. So they got nine in there now. That's 180 damage. We're looking at 180 damage. Uh, so they're going to research and get seven brand new cards. So that's... They're hitting the 200 now. So if they can find an energy, they're getting the knockout. Question is, can they find the energy? They have five in there. Two DTEs. Three darkness energy, which is... DT wouldn't help them out anyway, because that's going to reduce the damage, so now they're not getting the knockout. Yeah, bummer. They give the thumbs down. I'll give them a a sad face. That is that is kind of a bummer. Uh, that deck you really want to be you really want to be popping off and they just concede, so yeah. They got off to too slow of a start there. Basically just couldn't even United Wings there couldn't keep up, but to be fair, they discarded a lot of energy right off the bat, so that didn't help things out. Right on. So we're going to go for one more here because uh, last game was against United Wings and they, they weren't really able to get going, so I don't feel like that was a fair showing of Maridon, but we're still going to put it in there anyway. So we'll see what we're up against here. I have no indication of what they're playing based on any of their accessories so far, so shall see i would love to go first thank you for asking we'll see here we got nothing in the starting hand it's a bummer those are some cute sleeves that they have i like those i've never seen them so starting zapdos that's not great <laughs> uh eesh, we'll see i mean starting a roll it could be any number of things um we'll see this is really really awful uh I don't want to be getting rid of a boss's orders, but when push comes to shove, I want to keep the Magnazone V-Star because I don't really know what we're playing against. Um, that was a mistake. I want this guy. So we'll grab a Maridon and just try to get set up and see what we're playing against here. Um, we'll go ahead, and go ahead and tandem unit. Uh, in this case, I think I just want two Mareeps. I want to, I want to start getting set up. Um, we got the two Flaffy in the deck. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we'll go there. I'm going to go here. And honestly, I think I'm just going to play Path. And, uh, and turn. So the Path could, like, it could bite me a little bit. But I'm also shutting down potential opportunities that they have. I mean, they have a nine card hand. So there's another United Wings, man. <laughs> so now the Path is definitely just hurting me. Um, unless they're playing, like, Greninja, which I don't think United Wings plays Greninja. I don't see why it would. You don't want to be discarding energy willy-nilly. You want to be discarding United Wings Pokemon. So, we'll see if they have any more luck than the first United Wings we played against, but this is a dangerous spot. Um, it's not looking great. Is they going to escape rope me? That's not nice. Uh, I guess we just sacrifice a Mareep. 
because knowing what this deck is capable of, I don't feel like just freely giving them a two prize Pokemon. It would it would be a huge bummer to lose a Mareep, but it's uh it's more manageable than losing a, a Maridon at this point. So they're wisely going for the Flamigo right away. Let's you go into your hand and get the other Flamigo, and I'm assuming they have some way to discard them in their hand. Yep. Professor's research. So they're they're getting off to a really strong start here. Which is terribly scary. I really wish I had a way to keep the Magnezone V-Star here. I do believe I play a Super Rod. Um, so that'd be nice. But they're... They're really going for it. Um, they're hitting for 80 damage. So they're going to get this knockout on Mareep. They're going to go for a, a discard right away. Which is super scary. So they got the turn one knockout on a Mareep. Um, I don't know. Not feeling great. I'm going to send up Zapdos, actually. Um, very apprehensive about that, but... <sighs> it's not great. Um, I'm going to bump that just in case there's anything I want to do. I guess I could try to thin out my deck of... Certain Pokemon. Man, it's really a bummer to throw away this Magnezone. Let me see if I have... Okay, so there is a Super Rod, so the possibility of the Magnezone attack is not out of the water. Um, Raikou, possibly, for some drawing. I'm going to be giving uh, access to two prize Pokemon anyway, so kind of kind of no point in trying to avoid that at this point so hmm this is this is a tough one I don't really want to be Ugh. we'll switch into this just to try to draw a card I guess but it's probably not worth it <laughs> honestly so we're drawing an energy yay that's not helpful um Yikes. Uh, yeah, we'll just try to retreat into the Zapdos. And uh, we're not looking good. I think they're going to be off to the races here with a... They might be able to get a boss's orders. And uh, they got two on the discard. But I know that this deck plays Palpad, so I, I have like zero hope at this point. Sometimes it is going to be like that. Um, I think we'll include this one, though. This is an important lesson to learn that uh, not every game that is showcased should be won, in my opinion. Uh, because, especially if you're starting out, like losing is going to happen a lot. I think that's the most valuable way to learn how to play the Pokemon TCG. Uh, take it from somebody that's lost a lot of games, guys. Uh <laughs> Uh, I've learned some of my best lessons, honestly, from from uh, failing. So, just kind of like anything else in life, losing games in Pokemon can give you a better perspective, I think, of the game. Uh, it makes you look at your gameplay. And uh, they weren't able to get the knockout on the Zapdos, which is surprising. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do, though. Because I've kind of locked myself into a bottomless pit. We're going to grab Radiant Greninja and see, see what we can do. Um, I'm going to conceal cards first. Having some sort of switch option would be fantastic, but that is not the case. Uh, I think I want to just, like, boss's orders stall something. Which is not, like... Not a great strategy, but uh, I don't want them to be attacking, so we'll just do that. And pass. So yeah, speaking of that play, going back to the failure topic. <laughs> no, I, I really do think that losing games is um, crucial to becoming a stronger player in the game. 
Um, I find that personally, when I lose games, I go back and try to think of like what I could have done better. Um, and sometimes, actually, I would I would be willing to say a lot of the times when you lose games in Pokemon, um, it's almost it can almost be like entirely not your fault. Uh, it could just be completely out of your control, which it feels bad when that's the case, but that's just how it is sometimes. Um, one sec, real quick, we'll see. I need some sort of switching cart. The escape rope is pretty good. Um, so we're going to Dynamotor to, I think, Raikou. And then we'll escape rope. Basically, anything they can give me on the bench here is going to be good. They're probably going to give me the Flamigo, if I had to guess. Or Murkrow. So we'll see. I'm bringing up the Raikou. We'll see what we can draw off the one card. Another energy. That's all right. So we'll attach there. Um, we're just going to go ahead and take the one single prize. But we're putting a Murkrow in the Lost Zone, which is okay. Seems like they kind of hit a small brick wall there. I'm I'm not doubtful that they'll be able to kind of pop off here. They got six Pokemon in the discard pile. So now they got seven. So that's 140 damage. Um, we'll see. We'll see what they've got. I would really love to load up this Magnezone and just kind of pop off with the, uh, the two prizes. Because uh, Magnezone's V-Star ability, for anybody that doesn't know, allows you to do 90 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Against a deck like this, that is fantastic, because it will knock out two Pokemon. Um, so we'll see if they can get anything going here. They'll definitely be able to do damage, but I don't think... I mean, they're not... Yeah, they're just going straight for it. So 140 doesn't get there for the Raikou V. Let's see what we get. Electric Generator's pretty good. So let's... uh. What's fleet footed first? Fleet footed, feet footed? I don't know. They're not really doing anything with their hands, so I don't necessarily want to use that. So we'll try to electric generator, thin some energy out of the deck. We'll go for the Magnezone. I'm really, really digging for the V Star at this point now. So we are going to conceal cards. Dang it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um. I mean, I could still eye on them, but I feel like they haven't really got a lot going. Um, I don't know if I want to give them that. So they're putting another Murkrow in the Lost Zone no matter what. So I'm just going to Dynamotor, seal things up here. That. Although, I don't know. I think I'm going to go for it. So we'll go ahead and I don't because getting two prizes here would be, like, game-changing, actually. That... Oh. <laughs> I kind of forgot a step there. We need to super out it back in first. That would that would help. Actually, I don't even think I want the Mareep. I literally just want the Magnezone V-Star. Uh, so, there it is. We'll go ahead and attach for turn, I guess. And we'll just take the Lightning Rondo knockout. So hopefully, I mean, they probably are able to read my strategy. They're trying to recycle the V-Star. Um, so they could be going for Manaphy now, which would be unfortunate. But we'll see. We'll see what that Iono did to them. They need energy. They've got two Murkrow in the Lost Zone, which doesn't feel good. There's one energy in the discard. So they've got the double turbo. I think they'll be able to get the knockout here then. Yeah, because they're doing like 120, so. They'll be able to get the knockout on the Raikou, but as long as they don't put Manaphy down. If they put Manaphy down, I'm in trouble. If they don't, I should be in a decent spot. They just threw it away. Interesting. Okay. 
So we'll see if they know what Magnezone V-Star does. Um, we'll see. So they're gonna they're gonna lost city. <laughs> my Raikou, my Raikou's going in the lost zone. So that's all right. I think I think he's done his job. So they're gonna United Wings that to Oblivion. Get the energy in the discard pile. We are gonna promote Magnazone and hope that we just get the. Uh, we're gonna be able to draw some serious cards here though. So I'm not very doubtful that we'll be able to get it. Um. Let's go ahead and just conceal cards, because we can. That's... Yikes. Um, the Defiance Band's not really crucial. Uh, I can't use Forest Seal Stone, because I'm looking for the, uh, the Magnezone V-Star here, so... We'll go ahead and just profess his research. And there it is, baby. So we got here the Electro Star. I don't know my face is in the way. For two lightning energy, this does 90 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So here we go. We're gonna be able to get that going. And then I think we'll just get a Raichu to start setting up just as another attacker of some sort. Um, looking decent though. The Magnezone here is a big, big win. We're gonna take out both of their Curlia here. So we'll put 90 there and 90 there. Dumping away the Manaphy with the Ultra Ball has never felt so bad. Choose one prize card for one of them. Oh, I was like, wait, why didn't it knock it out? But it's just PTCG Live things. Uh, I was only doing one at a time, so I was very taken aback there. <laughs> so we've got two more prizes to take, um, which could be tricky uh, if they get if they get a knockout here. It's going to be tough. It'll be tough. But I guess I uh, if I have a way to get a boss's orders, Basically, any of my Pokemon at this point that are loaded up with energy could knock out the Squawk ability, and there's the win. But we gotta find a boss's orders. And I'm pretty sure I've discarded some. One. Oh no, there's two in there. And I think the deck might only play two, so... It could get interesting. They've got nine Pokemon in there, so there's... They're gonna boss's orders. The Flaffy? Okay. I mean, they'll knock it out. Okay. So they're setting themselves up for a two-prizer here. Um, so I think... I'll just go up with Magnezone. I'm not exactly sure um, what I'm working with here for... I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what I'm working with here for cards in the deck. So I guess we'll just use Nest Ball and go take a look. I do have one boss's orders left. Okay. So if I can get that somehow... That's really all we need. Um, so we'll go ahead and conceal cards. And pray that the boss's orders doesn't come out of there. Shoot. Um, that's not great. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, well, I guess <laughs> we... Uh, darn, we don't like to see that. Uh, so this could go anyway now. I guess we will switch into Maridon because it's the next next most plump <laughs> Pokemon, I guess. I think they've got like a ton of bosses orders. They got three of them in the discard pile. Here's the hoping that they're not able to hit a knockout here. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Whiffing the bosses orders is not 
not fun. They they might be able to capitalize and just uh, win the game here, but I think this has been a good good close one to include anyway. Uh, even if there's a loss here, we'll just go to show that uh, sometimes they don't always work. But I do believe they still need to get Pokemon in the discard pile, though, in order to knock out any of my two prize Pokemon. So they've got some work to do, and if they get there, then hats off to them. I, I couldn't even be mad about it. So we'll see what their plan is. They need some more Pokemon in the discard. They are down on prizes, though, so the Defiance Band will do 30 more damage. So I guess they would be hitting for 210, which is not great. <laughs> um, basically, if they find a way to get my Raichu up, which I think is going to happen right here. Oh, no. What are you doing? No. They could have had game. Uh, Serena. Oh, I guess I guess the choice belt does it too, but they could have used the Serena to just bring my Raichu up. Wait, why are they not getting there? Oh, one of those Pokemon is the Manaphy. Ah, unfortunate. Bummer. Uh, sorry. I was, uh, I was incorrect there then, because I thought they had enough in there. The Serena could have taken out my, uh, my Raichu. They could have brought it up to the active, and, uh, it would have been game over. But I was miscalculating based on the, the Pokemon in the discard pile. So, two really tight games against United Wings, but, uh... We came out on top somehow. We'll take it. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay video, guys. I hope you got a good look at Maraidon. See how fast and powerful it can be despite uh, going up against some pretty aggressive single prize decks. And we're getting pretty hyped up. Uh, as you can see with the totem in the back, we got Obsidian Flames. Got a pre-release coming up this weekend on the 5th. And so I'll have... I plan to do some vlog-style content for that and uh, opening up some of the new set. So that's gonna be super fun. And then next week we'll be opening up all of our product that we get. So super exciting stuff. Uh, if you like the content guys and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's get us up to a thousand subscribers and keep, uh, keep this content rolling. So until the next one guys, keep being awesome and we'll see you then. Peace.